What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Thank you guys for watching this video. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full fullback session with Dane. Dane was playing in, out in Spain for Malaga and now he's back in the United States and his goal is to play college soccer. He has some ID camps coming up and he just wants to mentally and physically prepare for them. So, you know, he's been transitioning actually positions, going from a center back position to a full back position. And since I played a full back position, you know, growing up, I feel like I had really good knowledge to help him out there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below what else you guys want to see or your favorite part of this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we start off with some basic fundamentals, working on one touch passing, two touch passing, playing really hard firm passes, but also really focusing and emphasizing on that technique. The next thing that we did was working on diagonal long balls so since Dane's been playing a lot right back for Alexandria his coach has been having him you know play a lot of long balls up to that left wing player and he feels like that he's been struggling a lot with you know making good contact the consistency of those long balls and he really wanted to work on that so this is extremely important for a lot of players playing that fullback position having the ability to switch the ball doesn't necessarily have to be up to that left wing player but having the ability to you know switch it and play a good long ball just in general is a very important attribute that a fullback needs to have so we first start off by just playing each other in a stationary position and as Dane warmed up and started building more confidence playing to me then I started making that run in behind like any winger would especially if the team is playing that higher line it's really you know good to have a winger that sees that and makes that run into that space and then having a fullback that can ping it and switch that ball into you know open space it can create you know a great scoring opportunity so you know we just really focus on the main thing just have you know timing you know reading the players run and technique technique is so underrated and it's probably one of the most important things a lot of players want to just really focus on the power of the long ball but the reality is it's you know striking the ball with the proper f part of the foot hitting the correct spot on the ball and the technique of your body as well are you leaning back are you leaning too forward those are things you need to analyze and i highly recommend you you know have somebody film yourself if you're someone that struggles and especially if you're someone that can't you know generate a lot of power i just recommend you line up the ball and try to play a long ball towards the goal or try to hit the crossbar as consistent as possible. You're gonna see a drill at the end of the video that really works on the consistency and that technique. But we worked on that for about 15 minutes and then we moved into the next drill, which is something that every fullback needs to have the ability is to be able to play under pressure and get themselves out of that pressure. So a lot of times, especially if you're playing right back, you're gonna get pressed by that left winger and you need to have the ability to you know be able to stay calm and composed and find those pockets of spaces whether you know you play that ball out of space or you dribble into space and then find somebody but there's times where you know dane feels like he has no options and he ends up just kicking the ball down the field which i would agree is probably the safest option than you know losing the ball in your own final third but there's going to be times where you're going to have to be able to take on that player and have that composure and that capability to beat them so that that's an amazing drill what i did was i set up two gates one going towards you know the center back towards the goalie and then one going up the line so when i play that ball i applied pressure and then he had to take it and dribble through either one of those gates and we did that for the majority of the session and then we ended the session with just some long balls towards the goal just really focusing on that technique trying to be as consistent as possible and we're really trying to switch up you know dane's technique because it seems like he's you know he's starting from the side of the ball too much and i told him you know try to stay more straight on and make sure your hips are facing towards the goal but you know amazing session and keep in mind especially when you're trying to improve on certain aspects your session doesn't have to be too many drills you can work on two three things 
and if those two three things are things that you struggle a lot then it's going to be an amazing session so we spend a lot of time working on the things that we need to improve on and in each session we try to make it more a little bit more game realistic a little bit more challenging to the point that it translates over so that was pretty much it guys hope everyone has a wonderful day and thank you for watching